welcome back. In this video, we're gonna dyno test my road tune and see how much better the tuner can make it on the dyno. The day has finally come for the Corolla to go onto the dyno and see how much power it's making. But before we do any pulls, let's take a step back and look at the baseline that we'll be comparing to. The last time the Corolla was at the dyno, it was running on the factory ECU and was mostly stock except for the 100 millimeter trumpets. On a nice cool wintry day, the 20 valve made 129 horsepower at the wheels. Shortly after that point, I knew my biggest limiting factor was the ECU, and also because of the virtually unanimous opinion in the comments section. That's when I decided to dive headfirst into a standalone ECU and get rid of the old school ignition system while I was at it. Each cylinder would not only have its own throttle body, but now each one would also have its own ignition coil too. The nice thing about standalone ECUs is that they can be tuned on a dyno by a professional to squeeze out every last horsepower from the engine. But it can also be tuned by a regular guy like me, without a dyno, by driving around with a computer. I mean, I had pretty good results road tuning my supercharged Miata. <laughs> Dyno tuning is expensive, while road tuning is free, so I wanted to see how close my road tune could get to the dyno tune. Maybe there's no need for a dyno tune at all, and a road tune is fine, but there's only one way to find out. I just did a dyno pull with the road tune that I made and it made a little over 130 horsepower which isn't too bad considering I didn't have a dyno to use. Now he's going to start tuning it and see what power we can make with this 4 g My road tune ended up making about 129 horsepower at the wheels. And I'll admit that my tuning was semi-conservative as you can see the peak power was tapering off at about 7,500 RPMs. But my conservative tuning still made more power across the rev range and with less dips than the stock 20 valve ECU. After a few hours on the dyno, the tuner ended up making about 134 horsepower or about 5 wheel horsepower more than my road tune did. 5 horsepower may not seem like much, but it's not just about peak horsepower. The dyno tune made more power across the entire rev range and it hit the same peak power as my road tune did, but at almost a thousand RPMs earlier. The difference between the dyno tune and the stock ECU is even bigger. In some parts of the graph, there's almost a 15 wheel horsepower difference, and that's just from an ECU upgrade and a tune. 
The Road Tune and the Dino Tune both felt a lot better than the stock ECU, but the Dino Tune is definitely the way to go. I felt the difference almost immediately leaving the tuner shop. The power comes on sooner, and it stays strong all the way to redline. My Road Tune felt good, but the Dino Tune felt better. Link has two budget ECUs that work well with 4 AGEs, the Atom X and the Monsoon. The Atom X is fine if you're running a 16 valve or don't plan on running coil on plugs. But I do have coil on plugs on my 20 valve, and I would have much rather had the Monsoon over the Atom X just for those two extra analog outputs that the Monsoon has over the Atom X. Otherwise, the Atom X and the Monsoon use the same tuning software and you can't go wrong with either one. If you're looking for a stock ECU replacement and a decent bump in power, go with the Atom X. But if you're planning on doing anything more with your motor, Monsoon all the way. Right after the Dino Tune, I got invited to a Toyota car meet and I couldn't say no, as Toyota enthusiasts are so rare in my area. So I gave the Corolla a quick wash and headed out. I think we are like the oldest people here. No, we're not. You don't think so? Oh, come on. We're not that old. We might be. I didn't bring my walker this time. <laughs> so did you import it or did you pick it up for somebody? No, I imported it. No kidding? Yeah, yeah. I brought it over. I was in the military. Oh. Ah, oh, dude, that's badass. Wow, dude, you got the freaking, I heard that actually makes like a pretty big difference on these guys. That uh, special intake. I can tell, but it looks cool. <laughs> it looks hella cool. <laughs> hey, you try to source like ports that you don't commonly see anymore. Like everyone's doing ITBs and I wanted to do that too, but when this fell into my lap, I was like, yeah. That that is... if, you want, if you follow us, we're all going to 85 degree bakery. It's like two miles away. All right, yeah, I'm definitely down. Yeah, everyone's over there right now. All the other Volvos anyway, so. Every meet I go to, I'm the only Toyota there, man. Well, it's just nothing but Subarus, Mitsubishis, Mustangs. Like, no Toyotas. Yeah, you can just follow me. Just follow me. Cool. Ooh, look at all the Toyotas! Oh, how oh exciting. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, there are a bunch of them here. 